What are you doing? Well, you need to go with this right here. All right, you may not need this much, but nonetheless, we're gonna go with some jasmine, or you can use some regular uh, long grain rice, and we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off, and we're gonna need one cup. Okay, now you're gonna grab a hot pan with a little bit of oil. You can just use a teaspoon or two, right? Yellow onion, so you already have that chopped up. It just magically it hits the pan, right? And then, we're gonna go with this right here, and we're gonna get that in. That's sausage right there, it's really good. If you haven't tried it, you might want to. Low to mid heat, we're gonna lightly brown the outer sides of that sausage. That's a fully cooked sausage, okay? And we're gonna soften up those white, uh, or those yellow onion as well. Okay, you can see, got the outer edges brown, soft enough onions. Everything's in one pan, this is a one pan deal, yo. And that's what I like. We're gonna go with pepper and a little bit of salt. Just a little pinch of the salt and then however much pepper you want. That's the good thing about cooking in your kitchen, you do it with love. Okay, now we're gonna go with one teaspoon or so of oregano. All right, once you got that in there, you're gonna go with about the same. One teaspoon or so of the garlic powder, or if you're like me, we always like a little extra. We're gonna go with mild, or you can go with a regular if you don't want it, but I wanna bring a little bit of heat. These are pretty much drained out, Rotel, right? Green chilies, get that in there. Start mixing all that around, right? Then, you're just gonna go with a little uh, six ounce can of tomato paste. We'll get that into the play. All right, you get this all stirred around like this. Long grain rice, right, that's been rinsed. Get that mixed in. All right, then we're gonna go with two cups of chicken broth. Get that up in there. Now we're gonna go mid heat, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and bring this to a boil without the lid on. All right, so once you bring this to a, stir it around a little bit and you bring it to a boil, you're gonna now cover it for about 15, 20 minutes, right? And you're gonna bring this down, the heat to medium low so we can get it to a simmer and let it simmer for 15, 20. Okay, about 15, 20 minutes later, you do have to stir this in that 15, 20 minutes, but don't over stir it. But look, so now all, mostly all of that, uh, Broth and everything is absorbed, right? And then you knew it was coming. Oh, yes, you did. Yeah, y'all just didn't know when, but you knew I was going to pull out a cheddar. Well, I'm going with a uh, Kobe Jack, and this is finely shredded. You can use as much as you want or none at all if you don't like cheese, right? Who doesn't like cheese? All right, we're just going to get that in a pan, and then I'm just going to set the top on it for a few seconds, and it, it should melt. All right, seconds later. Now you can top this like me with some fresh parsley or a, you can use a green onion. And would you look at that right there. One pot smoked sausage and rice. You heard it, one pot and it didn't take, it took less than 30 minutes. It was just right there at the 30 minutes or less. Oh, look at this, yes. And I guess you don't want to use a minute rice. You want to use a long rice, okay? Otherwise, it might be all mushy, mushy, right? It'd be too much liquid for minute rice. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> you could serve it with some bread if you want or whatnot, you know? I mean, you can do whatever you want. It's your kitchen, right? Ho oh, ho. Imagine coming home after a long day at work, take your feet up, get your belly warm, bon appetit. Whoa, wow. Mm, the flavor, the flavor. You need to get out there and make this.